the arthritis coming there. The bikes are over there. Ready? I'm told that they're going to run down the hill to the bike and for a start. We're just going to have a riders briefing for the uh, youth race. So any youth riders? The parents that want to be here, if you can come over now please. We'll be starting in 15 minutes. And uh, anyone who's marshalling, we need you out on your points now because we can't start until we have uh, all marshal points covered. Thank you. So, what have we got? One, two, three. Not these guys, because not the dads, because they want to be with their parents. But just, just do a lap and then we'll do another one after The yeah? dads want to be with their parents? That sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> Granddad, we love you. <laughs> So first of all, thank you all for um, taking part in the youth race. Um, it's our first one in the club's history, so hopefully it will go successfully and we can have some more, and hopefully a championship. Um, I'm just going to tell you how it's going to start, obviously you can see the bikes over there, it's going to be a mass start, but I'm going to get you to run to your bike, so all you kids need to be gathering at the top of that slope, and then just run to your bike, obviously it'll be a dead engine start. If you want to warm your bikes up first, you can do, but by sort of five to nine, or a couple of minutes to nine, you need to be standing up the top. Um, as you start, as you go down the start straight, there's a couple of ruts that go at an angle across the start straight. Try and go to the right of them, otherwise they might grab your front wheel. Um, then the first lap, I know you've, some of you have raced before, some of you haven't. It's an enduro, so the first lap can be real steady. It's slippery out there, now we've had some rain on the hard pack. There's ruts, there's tree roots, there's rocks out the ground. You've got to look where you're riding. Don't just go flat out, because you'll end up on the floor, and we don't want any injuries. And like I say, you know, there's an hour long race, so you've got plenty of time to pick off people once you settle into the track. Timing, the electronic timing here, as you come through it, it's a walking pace, so go through it nice and steadily. You should have your transponders on your right wrist, so you can keep your clutch in with your left hand and zap the receiver with the transponder. And on the right hand side or the left, depending on which side you go, there's a screen. You've got to look out for your number. Now apparently uh, there's been a bit of confusion with the number, so you've been issued a number, but you haven't got it on your bike. So you should know that number so you know what one to look out for. If you rush it, and it doesn't pick your number up, your lap won't be counted. And there's no backup, paper backup, so you've, it's down to you to take your time, zap it, the system works, we know it works, we've been using it for a year and a half, but if you rush it, it won't work. So are we all okay on that? Any questions on the timing? Good, good. Um, Blue tape, I think I mentioned that, obviously, if you're going in and out, if you want to come in for a drink, you can stop as many times as you want. Obviously, the more times you stop, you're not going to get as a good result. But if you want to go in for a drink, walk in pace, in you go, turn the bike off, refuel, drink, food, whatever you want, and then you just rejoin here and just watch out for other riders. So, um, yeah, I think that's it, really. Any questions from anyone? Anyone who's marshalling, if you can get to your points right now, and uh, we can, and, and the riders, if you want to head over, start your bikes, give them a little warm up, and then to the top of the hill. Have a good day. We're coming up towards 10 o'clock <laughs> for our first youth race. There are 10 of them. That's two of them multiplied by five. Those two ones, they, they ride, but they're not old enough for this event. It's the uh, belt and roper combo, but there's a belt and roper combo riding.
I think we have some action coming very shortly. Clark the course, Gavin Hockey's up. It's only for the youth. <coughs> Helmet's on. John Hart the starter. Running up that hill. He's hoping to see Kate Bush up there. And I'm off! And here we go! Good engine start. Number 11 to wait. That's Georgie Potter! The lady rider has shown what to do! This is great! <laughs> They're well spread out. First one of the way really was uh, Jake Roper, I better say that, because he won't want to be called Georgie. <laughs> and I think he's coming now up to the transponder point. <clears throat> First one through, have we got him? Right wrist up, he should not do this. <clears throat> he's away. And there's a roper in the lead. More than his dad could do. <laughs> wow, what a, what a lead. We'll have to reduce that. <laughs> Second and third are coming along. The other side of the caravan, they're over the hump. Down. I have no idea who they are. True. Could be a Belton, I suppose. Come third. Here comes Georgie Potter. She had to get her. There she goes. She, she was last away because her, her bike didn't start. But she's ahead. She's ready. I think she's given them a half hour start. Show them how it's done. Gears there somewhere. Get him on, get him on, got him on, got him. We can't get that little old piece. This one? Yeah. That is a roper. Well, that's why it's a bloody quick end. That's a shake rope. Well, at home we hardly had anything. I go down the road to West Burgholt, and the road was soaking. What that's falling down into the road like that. Ah. Will Belton.
will be more in. You have to do to do that to do the people to pick the others, won't they? But the kids will spread the word quicker than anything, won't they? Yes. What you should have done is put it on the internet about two weeks ago and then you'd have a hell of a well. At least that the North and Suffolk run the down on me. Yes. Yeah.